Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's fifth video. We're going to have a look at Twelves there for today's fifth video. We're going to go through all of the models there, but just, just been updating in the last couple of hours. ECM uh, WF last update, that's updating right now. As we do the video, we'll be finishing around five minutes time. And uh, we're going to see what Twelves there has got to say uh, in terms of the weather over the next uh, week or two. Are we going to get cold for Christmas? Are we going to bring in some snow for Christmas even? Have a look and see what 12Z has to say in a moment. To say first video today was our 7 a.m. upload. We had a look at the autumn forecast. We verified that. Uh, we did the European outlook, did a 10 to 14 there. And as I say, this is your fifth and final video. Wow, wow, wow. We're pushing your content today. Please like, share, subscribe on the vids. If you search to do that, we are really on the cusp now of 12.9k, uh, uh, we're virtually there, so please give us a sub, get us to 12.9k, tell friends and family to subscribe, and they're in the final push to 13k, we're going to give away an Amazon voucher worth £30 when we reach um, 13k, so uh, yeah, we're on our way, thank you so much everybody for getting us this far, but please sub, you know, and uh, and get us to 12.9k, it's imminent, it might already have happened when you watch the video, we're that close. Right, so we're going to start off with UK Met. Now, unfortunately, we cannot show you the UK Met Euro because it's not updated. So you can only go out to 144 hours with the uh, standard uh, UK Met model. So this is how the standard UK Met model is looking at midday on certainly high pressure dominating weather and ridging north. As it's where this high pressure goes that will determine what happens over Christmas through to Monday and Tuesday. That high pressure is still ridging through the UK and going up towards Green and Ice as well. Trough of low pressure is moving in towards Scandinavia. And that's as far as we get to uh, with the uh, UK Met. Uh, that gets us to midday on Wednesday. Proper blocking area of high pressure in over Scandinavia. Uh, over Greenland, I should say. Uh, low pressure in over Scandinavia. Cold air is digging in at uh, that point, particularly to more northern areas. Where that goes after that, you know, uh, what happens with this low as it comes up against the cold air. That remains to be seen, of course. Let's see if the UK Met Euro has updated. I don't think it will have done. No, unfortunately, it got stuck on B6 at 48 hours for some reason. Never mind. Uh, so we shall, instead of looking at that, go on to the uh, GFS. There it is. So we'll have a very quick look at that. Now, you know the GFS has been like the Grinch model, hasn't it, over the past few days? GFS has been the ones refusing to go cold. Let's see what it's doing for the 12s there. So uh, we're beginning right now. Again, high pressure is in control of the weather right now for GFS 12s there. And uh, as we go into the weekend, that high pressure will remain uh, well and truly dominant uh, also. Moving through to the early part of next week, high pressure is reaching northwards. It's trying to move itself up towards Scandinavia. Cold air is pulling in across northern uh, Europe on the eastern side of that area of high pressure. Becoming increasingly blocked with the GFS 12s there as we go to the early part of uh, next week. So that's into Tuesday, where we've got a ridge from our high pressure going up to Greenland at 1,050 millibars, and an area of low pressure is digging in over Scandinavia. That area of low pressure is Scandinavia taking cold air with it. Right, we're moving up towards Christmas. And uh, look at this. This is looking much, much better if you want cold weather over Christmas with the GFS 12Z. High pressure well and truly centred over Greenland and Iceland. Uh, really cold air pushing samples into uh, Scandinavia as well. Look at this area of low pressure on uh, 23rd December trying to come in from off the Atlantic. That's coming into those cold easy winds are being pushed southwards. So that might deliver a little bit of snow to more southern areas. Uh, right, so we get to 180 hours. It's something of rare temperatures. The cold air is established uh, across the country at 180 hours into midnight on Christmas Eve. Let's see what happens after that. Then. So the next low tries to get in from off the Atlantic Ocean. That one is being diverted southwards as well. And now it's starting to open the door really and properly to easterly winds. A proper easterly blast coming in here on Christmas Day. Those east winds will be feeding in snow showers across many parts of the country. And it's a very, very cold easterly indeed. And particularly focused on England and Wales actually a little bit drier across Scotland under the ridge of high pressure. But all areas will be very cold there 
on Christmas Day with easterly winds driving in snow showers in the south. There might even be some longer spells of rain, sleet and snow. Moving up to the end of December and the beginning of January, high pressure not moving from Scandinavia. So although the winds are from a southerly to southeasterly direction, it's probably still quite cold even at that point as the air is coming in off the continent. Look at the upper air temperatures with that GFS 12Z run and see how... Those uh, cold upper air temperatures push in on Christmas Day by 10 cells ice firm through the country. It's very, very unusual. Christmas Day, very rare to see my 10 cells ice firm moving through the country on Christmas Day. So that's a very cold Christmas with the GFS 12s there. But GFS did shift. It did shift uh, today or tonight compared to its earlier runs. Right, this is how Icon is looking. So high pressure ridges through the country. Uh, as we go through towards the uh, end of week and into the weekend. Early next week, that high pressure is uh, trying to go northwards. Low pressure trying to come in from off the Atlantic. Looking pretty blocked, I have to say, uh, with ICON. That low pressure is really struggling to get in. And although, you know, we are, we are pulling in some colder air from the north and northeast there by the time we get through to Christmas Eve, particularly for more northern areas. But I think that cold air is on its way southwards, actually. So, I contain cold for Christmas. GM uh, looks like this. So, uh, GM 12s there showing high pressure in the ascendancy through the early part of next week. Uh, what's going to happen as we get through the middle of next week? Again, raising the heights to the north, pulling in those easterly winds further southwards. And yeah, it looks like the uh, GM, the Canadian Mines, is also getting cold around Crystal Lake. It does bring this low in a little bit further north. So that would bring like a slow event to the northern half of the country with that low. For southern areas, it would be mainly rain. Not quite such a good uh, GM, although eventually we do get there and pull in those cold winds from the north. But the GM, you know, not quite as cold. And then the ECMWF is looking like this. Just updated Hot off the presses. This is how it's looking. High pressure through the country on Sunday. We go through to uh, early part of next week. High pressure is ridging north. As low pressure is trying to come in from off the Atlantic. This low pressure is struggling. So by Thursday next week, Chris CV, we're pulling in cold winds from the east. And here we go again. The 12Z is doing what it did this morning. Cold easterly winds there across the country on Christmas Eve. This low in the south might deliver some snow parts of England and Wales as well. Can't believe I'm saying this on Christmas Day, but there we go. You know, you go by what model is showing, and that does look very cold and wintry for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and also for Boxing Day as well. Look at the upper air temperatures. They do a plummet as we go through the Christmas period, especially in the northern half of the country. We're in this yellow line. That's going to rain in the south, but in between there, so like Wales and Midlands, could be the focus of snow event there on uh, Christmas Day and up to northern parts of England as well. That is Boxing Day, so it is a little bit milder in the south. Remember, it's on this green line just here uh, on the boundary, but we could get some snow. Very, very interesting signals once again from uh, the ECM and all of the models tonight. They are all looking poised to potentially, uh, potentially, I should say, produce a cold and wintry Christmas. What do you think about that then, everybody? What do you think about that? That was good, wasn't it? Right, so that's a 12Z. Uh, quick 12Z update done and dusted. We shall be back tomorrow with, uh, I think, the big storylines of GFS shifting from earlier runs. But I'm usually I'm maintaining, you know, generally a very cold and blocked setup for those easy wins. Uh, right, that is it then uh, for today's videos. We're going to be back tomorrow with more. So uh, plenty, plenty to come. Uh, tomorrow on this developing situation, uh, potentially a cold, and uh, maybe even for some of us, rather snowy Christmas. Who would have thought it? More tomorrow. You enjoy the rest of your uh, Thursday evening. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.